Hi, I'm Marek from Elf Audio, and this video is to explain how to use the new Koala FX AUV3 effects unit on iOS. So I've got GarageBand here, and in order to put Koala effects onto this track I've got here, I press this little mixer button, and there's a section called Plugins and EQ, and then you press Edit on that page, and uh, there's there's four slots here available, so I'm going to press one of the slots, and then it says here effects or audio unit extensions. So I go to audio unit extensions, and I scroll down and choose Koala effects. Now if I tap it, up comes the UI. So what we've got here is 16 um, effects from um, the actual effects that were in Koala, with with a few additions. And I've also made a few enhancements as well. Um, so if I press play, we can hear uh, just a, a track playing. And uh, this is the, the Crusher, which is largely unchanged from Koala. There's a pitch shifter, which is um, actually a frequency domain pitch shifter. It's a proper pitch shifter. The one in Koala is just changing the, the speed of the sample. Um, there's a comb, ring, they're all the same, pretty much. I'd say with the one thing that's important to note is that there's a few effects that depend on tempo. So you have the cutter, which which chops uh, in time with the music, and that doesn't really work when you press stop because um, there's no tempo information for it to go on. Same same with reverse. Uh, stutter seems to work fine. Um, but uh, yeah, if I carry on with that, we've got the stutter effect is quite cool. Etc, etc. Um, yeah, so we've got lots of effects here. And also, importantly, we've got a hold button which lets you keep the effect engaged when you let go. So if I engage hold, the uh, crush will just stay where I've left it. And if I, I can turn that off now and interact with other effects, um, and they'll automatically turn off. Um, so I can hold a few things down, and then if I just press this clear button, it lets go of all of them. So it's quite quite a handy sort of panic button feature. <clears throat> so um, the uh, other thing that's really nice about the new Koala effects is you have this idea of scenes, which are kind of like snapshots of um, what, what you've got here, um, you know, like a, a configuration of all these sliders. So if I made a scene, let's say the first one is has a little bit of crash on it, and then scene B has, I don't know, a, that's a bit, a bit crazy, maybe, maybe just an octave down, and I can switch between these two scenes, um, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to make another one on E, and I'm going to put some reverse on it, maybe some dub delay, and then for F I'm going to put talk box. Um, so now I can go between these scenes. Um, this is actually automatable as well, which is quite nice. And the other thing that's really nice is if you press this button XY, you get this giant um, sort of XY pad thing or whatever, where you can crossfade between all the different effects. Um, the one thing that you need to know about this, if you are going to get into automation, is that when you're using the XY pad, it disables the automation of all the individual sliders because it just sort of conceptually becomes extremely complicated. So you either automate with um, the individual sliders or you automate the XY, but if you do both, it's um, it just doesn't make any sense. So here's the, uh, the XY thing. Uh, another feature that's really cool is that you can change the order of the effects. So uh, for instance, if you have this cutter effect, um, it's really nice, um, and you want to apply reverb onto it, you notice that the reverb is affecting the sound and then the cutter is affecting the sound. Now the signal chain in, in this effects unit goes from left to right, so this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, and then this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. So the input comes in here and the output comes here. But you can change the order um, live, so I can move this cutter so it's before the reverb, 
So now the cutting is happening and then the reverb is being applied on top of it instead of the other way around. Um, so yeah, you can you can uh, change the order of all the effects. It doesn't really doesn't really matter. It seems to be uh, quite click free as well, which is very nice. Um, but one thing is, uh, once you've changed the order of some effects, that applies to every scene. You can't have different orders of effects per scene because it would just make the the crossfading thing really wacky with like effects um, crossing over each other and it wouldn't be able to allow you to create these sort of smooth transitions between one effect and another because it's literally unpatching one in, and then patching it in another place so uh, it's a bit of a limitation but I, I think it's a, a, a fair one so that's just about it thanks a lot for watching and enjoy koala effects <laughs>